more relevant maybe, but before we get to some of those, which we will, at the same time, when, when they do polls, they find that basically most people think the government's hiding something from us about space. And, you know, you, what did happen in Roswell? Something crashed into the ground and made a big hole, right? W what was it? What, what was it? <laughs> I have no idea what may or may not have crashed in, in Roswell, whether or not there actually is a hole. I mean, this is all storytelling as far as I'm concerned. I've seen no evidence about this. And as we know, we can fictionalize evidence as much as you want. But I think the basic question is, why is it that when it comes to space, people feel that the government is hiding something? The answer is, well, for years, the government did hide stuff from us when it came to space, and perhaps they still do, simply because space is where all our intelligence is gathered. That's where all the spy satellites, mm -hmm. satellites fly. So it's like the logical place to think that there's an awful lot of stuff in space that we don't know about. And mm -hmm. so, if you start with that kernel of truth, you can build out of there something. As the is as there any? And Jonathan, and jump in on the satellite if you think okay. you have an answer to this. Is there any basis for for much of the sort of more extreme space stuff? We didn't walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong was in Vegas, and you know. <laughs> in a fancy hotel with hookers. I mean, all, all that stuff, you know, I, how do you know what to believe? I mean, I think it's got to be crazy that we didn't go to the moon, that, that we didn't, you know? I don't, I don't think there's necessarily a basis for that, but I mean, y you can sort of see the logic behind it because, I mean, here's something, how, how do we know that these people were on the moon other than that we were being told that they were on the moon uh, when they were there? Now, obviously, I think that they were there, and I think most people would agree, but, uh, you know, again, it's, it's just this sort of gap between uh, what we receive through the media and what we're actually, uh, what we can actually perceive with our own senses that uh, causes people to fill in the gap and come up with these theories. Mm -hmm. the, the, the basic problem with all these so-called conspiracy theories is, take the moon example for instance, the amount of energy required to keep that project secret, the fact that we filmed this in a television studio in Nevada or something, is so unlikely, just you can do the math on the number of people that would have to keep it secret, not tell their wives, never tell your child. It's just absurd. And this is the basic reason why so many conspiracy theories fall apart. It's related to the number of people that have to keep silent. And you just do the math. The bigger the circle gets, the more likely it's phony. And the hard fact that people in our government haven't been very good at keeping secrets in so many cases, even smaller secrets than hiding a moon right. landing. Somebody talks, that, sooner or later. Right. That's really what they want you to think. I've actually written an entire book on this thing. A subject called NASA Nazis and JFK, in which I discuss the uh, uh, part of the this, this moon landing stuff. If you watch the footage of the uh, uh, the lunar module leaving the surface of the moon, there's no rocket blast and there's not a blast crater. There, there, there are real questions like that. I mean, if you put aside things like but you're getting at that issue that that's photograph. what I, you're that's saying. A photograph of JFK and Werner von Braun, who's a chief rocket scientist in, in uh, developing our space program, in which in von Braun's own memoirs he says after the photograph was taken, there was an argument. Right. Yeah, an argument about it. And of course, Von Braun, who was a Nazi, who was part of the paperclip Nazi thing, was arguing for rockets. What but but Ken, you're about? saying you think that it, it didn't happen. Hmm? You're saying you think we didn't go to the moon. No, I'm not saying we didn't go to the moon. I'm saying that it, it was a space project, like all these space projects, that have a lot of things attached to them. And of course, they have secrets. Of course, advanced technology is being kept secret. What but do you think we went to the moon? Hmm? Uh, well, we I'm certain moon? we went to the moon, but I don't think we used uh, rockets to take off from... Uh, you can see the, the photographs are there for anybody to see. Why See, that, that's a whole other strain of the uh, the space thing is that, yeah, we did go, and this to me is maybe a little more plausible. You know what, jo I got, to... Jonathan, I got to stop you. We got to take a break. I'm sorry. I'll get you on the other side. Stay with us. <laughs> of the Full Nelson. I'm Rob Nelson. And that was the TV show, The X-Files. That show and the movie, I think, in many ways, really helped legitimize the idea of government conspiracy, certainly in, in the sense of covering up with aliens. I mean, at, at a large level, people now think that's possible. Well, and it's partly true that the government is copped to some of the lies about uh, space programs over the years. You brought up Roswell in that case right now. If you read Air Force historical reports on Roswell, 
They will tell you that the government lied, that there was a cover-up of sorts at Roswell, that some high-tech listening devices that came down in the desert were hidden from the public, a cover story was cooked up about weather balloons, and 40, 50 years later, it's no surprise that we've generated numerous stories and um, speculations about what might have happened there. But so in your mind, looking, you read a lot of declassified documents and dig through this stuff, you think that's probably what happened. I Not that an alien ship crashed in the desert, but the government dropped something they didn't want anyone to know about. In so many cases, I think, uh, excessive government secrecy arises from national security concerns. And in the course of the Cold War, we had national security concerns that were hysterical, unreasonable, and that limited our access to information and our government's ability to tell us the truth. Mm -hmm. And Roswell is, is a small and in some sense not so important uh, instance of that because my life went on the same whether or not something landed in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, I cut you off at the break uh, for that commercial. W what do you think about the space stuff, the, the landing on the moon, that there weren't foot, you know, prints and no blast when the lunar module well, took off? Yeah, I think what I was saying before, I think what Ken had been trying to say is that uh, perhaps, you know, there's, there's a much more plausible uh, space conspiracy theory uh, would be not so much that we just didn't go to the moon at all, but that, you know, maybe there, there were technologies, specifically military technologies, that uh, may have been used in that mission or in, in the other moon missions or in any space mission um, that are not being revealed to the public, weren't revealed then, and, and aren't being revealed now. And I think mm -hmm. that's not only plausible, I mean, in some cases, like with the space shuttle, it's, it's true. I mean, a lot of times the space shuttle goes up and they say it's a classified mission. Mm -hmm. Who knows what they're doing up there? Mm -hmm. You know, so, so I think it is certainly, it, it's something worth thinking about that maybe there are technologies that are a little more advanced than, uh, than we're publicly uh, told about. And, and I so think why, that's what Ken was alluding to. So the question is, were they back engineered from the, uh, the spacecraft that crashed at Roswell? It's but do you really think something crashed at Roswell? No, but, but I will tell you, I will tell you this. There's a, there's, a, there's a group called MJ-12. This is a secret government right, group this big uh, that cover deals up with the group, aliens. Yeah. There is a smoking gun document that proves its existence. There's a, there's, a, there's a document right now in the National Archives, and they will tell you it's there. They, 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 they might suggest it's a hopeless, but they don't get rid of it. It's called the Cutler-Twining Memo. Now, there's another author, a guy named Jim Martin, who is uh, uh, doing a book called Wilhelm Reich and the Cold War, in, in which he uncovers another document. Not out yet. It should be out in a week or so. Uh, in which he finds another document whose dates match up perfectly with this MJ-12 document. It's a smoking gun. The group exists, and you, and you will know about this if you read this book, Wilhelm Reich and Cole. And they're, that they're covering something up? Aliens. Well, I, I'll go out to the audience real quick. Do you believe in aliens? Do you I think they're out there? Do you think some crashed from space? I don't know about that, but I think that there has to be some of their life form other than us somewhere in the universe. So you buy it. What do you think? I totally disagree. I no. don't think there's anything else out there. And, and the whole notion that we didn't land on the moon is just people being wacky, looking for something. I think something. we landed on the moon. I don't think there's aliens. <laughs> <laughs> do you think the government would hide something from us? Yes, I do. You're not. You